to be looking very similar. Okay, we have so we have some main shape here from which uh, we will start to adjust that. So I convert this to poly. First of all, I want to uh, auto perspective that to zoom on this, and I want to uh, place this some somehow inside the shape. Now for this, I will try to use the soft selection. I will go. A bit more down and try to adjust that a little bit. I'm just simply, oops, too much. Simply, I would like to put it inside. So, I think first of all, I will go without that. Just place it here. Okay, here it doesn't matter. But I think here it will matter a little bit more. Because there at the top, <coughs> the shape will hide that, uh, but I don't think it will hide it here. Okay, so this should be enough. And uh, we'll go just inside. Okay, cool. Let's make something like this. Okay, so we have we have this now. We need to edit this somehow to match the shape because it should be a little bit more straight down and so. So I will try to use the FFD cylinder. Go to the front view. We'll try it like a control point. We'll select this half and try to place it a little bit down like this. And of course, we need to pull also the rest. So maybe the cylinder is not the best. Let's try this one. FFD free to yeah. Probably this one will be better. Anyway, we'll see. So firstly, we'll go down, and uh, the second way we'll adjust it a little bit more. So this uh, can go a little bit like this, and so on. So just playing with this to make it sim uh, looking similar like that. Now it's really up to you how it'll be looking at the end. Of course, it's free, free for all. Uh, you don't have to match absolutely this one. Of course, there can be some cracks or something, just to make it a little bit more. Like real, of course, it can be perfect in all ways. So now we can drag just these these points here and move them a little bit more. And I think we can leave it like this. Yeah, this this looks fine. Anyway, a lot will do the troublesome at the end. But anyway, we have just a half of that. We need these ones here. Now these ones I will do the same way like I did this. So I can convert this to poly again. And again I can make here an helix. Okay, where is he? Oh, okay again. So it doesn't matter so so far. The radius should be the same. Can go here by zero, and we need just I don't know three turns I think it should be enough. Let's go to the top view, and we'll place it in the same position like we did that before. So somewhere like somewhere like this front view. Let's go down. Now with this shape we can manipulate it a little bit more. Uh, I will do something like this and I put the pie over the center. I just don't want to convert it so far to poly because I will lose So 
some parameters which I would like probably to adjust. Okay, I will not rotate that. I will use the FFD for that. Okay, let's try. Convert to poly. Let's put uh, on that this one again, control points. And we want that this will be here. And this will be somewhere here. And now we just need to tweak that. So we'll make it a little bit bigger. At the end, we can sync it inside the shape. 